Well, things are looking great weather-wise. You're looking at live photography from one of our cameras. You can see the sky conditions are mainly sunny. We have a few low-level clouds in place right now. Those clouds, though, not expected to change our weather at all over the next 24 to 48 hours. Matter of fact, the clouds are decreasing at this point. You're looking live at some of our interview guests exiting. Oh, that's fine. Go ahead. That's fine. It's a beautiful day. No, go ahead. Look, there we go. Right from that's fine. It's perfect. There's nothing to worry about on the break. Now, if we had a tornado, it would be a big deal. But there's nothing going. It's a beautiful day. As a matter of fact, we should bring them back. Let's let's all do the weather. All five of us. It's that nice of a day. We're just enjoying ourselves here in the studio and here in New Orleans, here in Southeast Louisiana. Everybody's in a great mood because of this weather. Sweeping clear. Not expecting to see any rain. Is our dew point is 44. Another reason to be in a good mood. Look how low the humidity is. We have winds from the north northwest at about 10 miles per hour. That breeze still a factor right now. It's going to be dying down as the afternoon goes on. Here's the satellite view. And yes, it does show a little bit of cloudiness, but those clouds very, very low. They're stratus clouds. They're not rain making clouds. They just make it more picturesque. I think two high pressure systems controlling our weather. One to the north in the Great Lakes, and then the second one that's in Texas sliding a little bit closer to us. As that happens, the winds are going to be getting lighter as the afternoon goes on. Tropic Watch, the Gulf of Mexico is clear, the Caribbean is clear. Oh, we have one tropical wave out there, but it's over 3,000 miles away. We're not worried about this one. The Hurricane Center is watching it, as they always do. And they actually say there's about a 70% chance for development over the next seven days. But as the late Harry Carey used to say, when there'd be a fly ball that the center fielder was going to catch easily, he'd say, don't worry about it. That's the case with this tropical system. It'll get closer to the United States, but then high pressure is going to turn it to the north. Does not look like this is going to be any factor for us. Temperatures, let's talk about how nice they're going to be. Your high temperature today, eh, maybe not even in the 70s, low or upper 60s for a lot of people. Then tomorrow morning, we're going to be cool again, maybe even a degree or two cooler than this morning. North Shore, mid 40s, 50s everywhere else. And then tomorrow afternoon, the warming trend begins, but it's still going to be extremely comfortable with a high temperature in the mid 70s. One more morning in the 40s, Wednesday morning for the North Shore. And then the warming trend gets into a higher gear, close to 80 degrees by Wednesday afternoon. Here comes a cool front on Thursday. Let's see how much rain it's going to bring us. Doesn't look like that front's going to be that strong, and it's not going to have much moisture to work with. So our chance for rain is really only 20%. It's much needed rain. We're not going to get much from the next front. Mostly sunny, not as breezy, cool. Just a great day today with a high temperature right around 70 degrees. Tonight, clear skies, a little bit breezy, and I put cold with a question mark because if you're in the 40s and you wake up first thing, yes, you're going to need a jacket. I really think it's a great idea, but the warm up is going to be very quick tomorrow. High temperature in the 70s with sunny skies and lighter winds. And here's that chance for rain late Thursday into Friday. Only a 20% chance for rain before it gets just a little bit cooler for next weekend. That's your forecast on WDSU. All right.